Hi, and welcome to this series on literature searching and evidence-based practice. My name is Rebecca Morgan, and I'm the Kornheiser Library Liaison to the School of Nursing at the University of Louisville. In this video series, we're going to introduce you to research literature and library databases, and guide you through running basic searches in two of these resources, CINAHL and PubMed. In this first video, we're going to discuss research literature, the levels of evidence, and research databases. By the end of this video, you should be able to identify different kinds of medical literature and understand how they range in quality and reliability. You should also be able to name a few research databases and know why we use them instead of relying on Google. Let's get started. When we talk about evidence and evidence-based practice, we're talking about the combination of a clinician's individual expertise and experience, a patient's values and expectations, and the best external evidence available. Patient values and clinicians' experiences are self-explanatory, but what do we mean when we say best external evidence? External evidence is what we find in our research literature. It is the data and the findings that are published in all the different types of studies and articles in medical journals. To find this literature, one must run a literature search in a research database, like CINAHL or PubMed. One thing I want you to notice right away is that evidence-based practice uses the best external evidence or the best available evidence, not just the first evidence available. This implies that not all evidence is created equal and that there must be different levels or hierarchies of research literature. To illustrate this concept, let's look at the pyramid of evidence. The pyramid of evidence is used to rank different types of research literature based on their quality and reliability. As you move up the pyramid, the methodology used in each type of article increases, and so does the quality of evidence. So when looking for the best evidence, you want to find literature towards the top of the pyramid. However, it's important to note that the higher you go on the pyramid, the fewer articles there are. So you may not always be able to find a systematic review or randomized controlled trial on your topic. Depending on what you're looking for, a case control study or a case series might be the best evidence that's available. Therefore, it's always very important that you look through all your search results to make sure you're aware of the different types of research articles written on your topic. It's not good enough to just select the first three articles and call it a day. Because what if they're all editorials or case studies, and your fourth or fifth result is a randomized controlled trial or even a cohort study? Then you would have missed the best evidence available, and that's not in accordance with evidence-based practice. It's also important to know the difference between primary and secondary literature. If your professor asks you to find primary sources, they're asking for original research studies or the first-hand accounts of the research that was conducted in a singular study. So this would include anything from case studies up to randomized controlled trials. This is in contrast to systematic reviews, meta-analyses, and guidelines, which are secondary sources. Secondary sources collect all the data from many different individual studies or primary sources and synthesize the collected evidence together to gain a fuller, broader view of the topic. So a systematic review or guideline might look at 10 different randomized controlled trials on the same topic to determine whether a change in practice is needed. If there aren't enough studies on the topic, a systematic review or guideline can't be written. In that case, you might only be able to find primary sources on your topic, and you will have to look at all available evidence and synthesize it yourself. Now that we've discussed the various types of research literature, it's time to discuss where to find it. Research literature is found in research databases, like the ones shown above. These databases hold collections of thousands of different journals and citations for all the articles published in them. If you're new to literature searching, picking a database can be intimidating, so we're going to stick to the two biggest ones for nursing. CINAHL is important because it collects journals solely on nursing and allied health. This tight focus means that CINAHL indexes a smaller collection of journals than some other databases, but it also includes specialized journals like the Journal of Infusion Nursing that aren't included in any other databases. CINAHL also includes literature besides just studies and reviews, including dissertations and book chapters. 
PubMed, on the other hand, has journals from every biomedical discipline imaginable. It's also massive and boasts the largest number of article citations of any biomedical database in the world. So while it's not nursing focused, it's very comprehensive. You may be asking yourself, why bother with databases at all? Why not just search Google? Google is not an evidence-based resource. Nothing in Google has been vetted for quality or accuracy. I could write a completely fake paper and format it to look professional and it would still show up on Google because anything can be posted on the internet without requiring it to be factual. Google also has no refined search features. Results are returned based on popularity as much as relevancy. In research databases like CINAHL and PubMed, however, all journals included in them have been vetted for accuracy and reliability. So there's an expectation of quality when using them. CINAHL and PubMed also have refined search features that allow you to build searches that return articles on topics you want instead of what's most popular. So now that we know what research databases are, let's talk about where to access them. In order to get access to all the articles and literature you need full text, you need to make sure you're going to the Kornhauser Library website. The URL for our website is www.library.louisville.edu slash Kornhauser. Or you can just Google Kornhauser Library and we're the first option. Once you're on the Kornhauser website, you have a few options in accessing databases like CINAHL and PubMed. You can click on top databases on the left-hand navigation bar and select the database you're most interested in. These are only the most popular databases owned by Kornhauser, however, and not the full listing. So you can also go back to library links on the left-hand navigation bar and select health science databases to see everything Kornhauser subscribes to. Or if you're curious about all the databases owned by the libraries, you can click database A to Z list also. If you scroll down the page a bit, you'll notice a link to our nursing portal. The nursing portal is a one-stop shop for everything nursing students need. On the left are research databases that are used the most by nursing students. And on the right are other links that might interest you like nursing eBooks and nursing journals.